What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some amazing new friends, two little mystery animals that you guys are gonna get to meet that I have only hung out with once, so it's gonna be a treat for me and for you guys back at home. Welcome back, I am Landon Chair, and we are at Zoological Wildlife Foundation. We have some really cool little friends, but first I wanna catch you guys up on some of the friends that we've met before that you guys might be missing. We have Romeo the Capuchin Monkey, we have a surprise other guest, and maybe some animals along the way before we get to the new animals. So if you guys wanna see that, let's head over to Romeo right now. Oh my goodness, Stinky Man. Who is this Stinky Man? He's saying hi. Hello, Stinky Man. Look how big Romeo, the Brazilian tufted capuchin boy, is getting hold up. I'm all tangled up here. I'm all tangled up, guys. This little leash on him is just for his protection. Usually if he's out, he is uh, able to be held by the tail, but because I'm talking with you guys and not paying full attention, we do have to have the leash on him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look who is the crazy stinky boy. If you guys actually want to come and meet Romeo, you can come to ZWF and meet this stinker butt. You can meet him yourself and he could touch you and he could climb on you and he could lick you and he could even put his teeth on you a little bit. He's just a baby so everything goes in his mouth. Let's tighten up this leash right here. We have lions and tigers and all sorts of craziness. We wouldn't want him to get too close to them but he is just growing big every day. Look at how he can use his tail. Oh, hang from the tail. Hang from the tail. He says, Dad, I'm gonna climb. I'm gonna climb like this. The caretakers here have been doing such a good job with him, and he's such a healthy and happy boy. We've got the necklace. Do you want the tooth? What is this tooth? Oh, very curious, huh? Very tasty. If you guys want Romeo's own episode, then you guys have to comment down below so that we can see that. I think we might be taking him swimming soon, but let's go see one of our other animal friends. Does anyone want to play some soccer? I think we could play soccer with this ball, maybe. Actually, this might not be the ball we want to use because in a second here, oh, who do we got? We got a nose. We're sniffing the grass. <laughs> We're sniffing. We're saying, where are we right now? This is not a soccer ball. Look who we have here. We have little Gerald. You guys met him before. He does have his own episode all about him. And he is just doing really good. How are you doing, buddy? I love this little guy so much. And I actually don't get so much time to hang out with him. Some of the girl caretakers work with him more. They feed him all his grubs. They feed him all that good stuff. And look how good he's doing. He's getting bigger every day. This little shell is getting <laughs> So big and he's got this big old plate on his head that protects him too. Look at this. This is an armadillo and he's got these bands down his back that if you didn't realize can collapse and open up to protect him. Let me grab him here for a second. Oh, oh, just like this and the tail tucks in as well. Just wanted to give a little update on him because he is one of the most unique animals in our world, on our planet, but he is ready to go. Are you getting, getting ready to go look for some grubs? Who do we have here eating all the banana chunks? We've got some delicious banana slices and some red apple pieces, which are Clover's favorite. This is the black and white ruffed lemur that you guys can also meet, just like Romeo. Clover also comes out on the tours and encounter experiences here at the zoo. And we've just got a whole handful of treats that we're gonna use to hand. These guys are endangered and they're from the island of Madagascar and there's a lot of different species of lemurs. I believe there's over 40 different species of lemurs and they all look a little bit different but have a lot of similarities and they are related to the kinkajous that we are about to meet, our new family members here. They're known as one of the best seed dispersers in the world because you can see all the stuff that they eat. If they're eating fruit like this all day with the seeds in it, those seeds have got to go somewhere. So after they pass through the system and they go out the other end, they are being dispersed throughout the whole forest in Madagascar. And that is how new life comes. New trees grow, more fruit trees all around. Lemurs are happy, fruit trees everywhere, and the forest is lush. So with that being said, I think Clover is gonna keep on munching on all of her pieces of apples here, but let's go meet our new Kinkajou friends. Look who we have here, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lots of feeding times today. Look at the little girl just laying down. This is Lilo on my arm and then up here on my left. Oh, 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 which is your right, I think, guys. This is Stitch. You can see why we call him Lilo and Stitch. Look at Lilo and Stitch. That is the famous movie and Stitch is a crazy alien with big old claws and big old ears. And these are the Kinkajou kids. Hello. 
otherwise known as the honey bears. You can see a lot of different similarities. Oh, someone saying hi, Lilo. Are you saying hi here? You want a piece? You want a piece of pear? Oh, we love piece of pear. Mmm, piece of pear. Oh, oh, bit the finger, not the pear. These guys are totally adorable, and you can see the similarities with them and the lemurs that we just had. Same, similar looking hands, similar body styles, just a lot smaller. I think they're a little bit cuter. Um, and I was mistaken, clover is actually a tricolor lemur, which is a cross between a black and white and a red rough lemur. And I just uh, brain farted there and said black and white because I was tongue tied talking to you guys. I get a little nervous. You guys are a tough crowd. So anyhow, these guys are doing so good. We just got them recently and they are going to grow up with us and be the cutest babies in the world. Oh, oh, oh. This guy can be a little nippy. Stitch can be a crazy alien. Oh, he wants a big piece of pear. Somebody wants a big piece of pear. But these guys are totally adorable and I cannot wait to share more on them with you. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really supports me and Lilo and Stitch. Oh, we're gonna be probably biting some ears right now. They love to put everything in their mouth, just like Romeo. These guys are just adorable though. I've never really interacted with a kinkajou besides one of my friends who had one named Mango. Oh. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Just too cute, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace. But before we go, we actually have to update you guys on a very special boy, guys. Look what Maverick looked like just a few days ago. And now, if you see the other side of him, turn around, spin for the camera. Oh, okay, we're just gonna spin that way. We're just gonna spin that way. What do we got here? We got some of our treats. Look how much better his skin is getting already, guys. It is so much better than it was. If you guys did not see the video before this where Maverick had this bad skin infection and he's still fighting it, well, we are just updating you on that. He's getting better, but you guys should probably go watch that video. We have our own dog and cat treats, guys. Very good stuff. These just happen to be the pork chips, and that's what they look like right there. Freeze-dried, no preservatives, really good stuff. Check it out on the website link below. Maverick has got to get some antibiotics before we can start our day today. Maverick, do you need antibiotics? He takes them very willingly. All right, chow time. Looking for more. Do we have any more? Oh God, we, we love it. That antibiotics is gonna fight that bacterial infection that he had going on on the side of his face. Just a nasty thing. But we're gonna finish off this bag. Live Positively Products, guys. It's my new line of stuff. Check out the website. We're gonna have apparel on there soon. Maverick, are you just so excited for all of the new products? Please comment down below a little prayer for Maverick if you guys have stayed this long. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. We just hit 800K, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.